And hello! Let's try this a second time. <laughs> we are here again for the first time. Indeed! I am Jax, that is Zach. This is Nelson Tether's Puzzle Agent. Because why wouldn't you start your channel off with N Nelson Tether's Puzzle Agent? I mean, everyone knows this game, right? I think. The mind boggles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the mind might boggle. I think some of the puzzles in this get difficult. I know the first one doesn't because I uh, tested it out earlier. The Federal Bureau of Investigation. I like the art style. Oh, yeah. And right down there at the bottom, right underneath Sasquatch Researchers, here is Puzzle Investigations. The U.S. Department of Puzzle Research. Which is apparently a thing that exists. Oh, I think one of those things said astronomers note new moon. Interesting. Nelson there apparently enjoys his bubble gum. Don't know how he didn't yep. get covered in bubble gum there. Years of practice. I am thinking this game might be a bit loud still. Eh, it's not that bad. Yeah, I'll check it. Not old. Oh no! Sudden random astronaut. Interesting. Yep. So now we're to our first puzzle. It's really, really easy. It is literally a puzzle. And that I got tore up, we gotta put it together. And the pieces do snap together, as you see right there. So if you've got two that are next to each other to the right, they'll just sort of flink. Funk. As you see over here, you can uh, hit what, it'll tell you what the puzzle is again, just in case you forgot, or you clicked past too fast to see it. There's a hint, uh, there's reset, I don't think we need a hint for this, and I also don't think we need to reset it. I think there's not really much reason for us to use either of those options in this particular puzzle. But with that, we're done, and when you're done, you hit submit. Hey! You get the puzzle name, tells you how many hints you used, tells you how many wrong answers you did, scores you, gives you a rank. And then you can hit the little how up here, and it'll tell you. Which, in this case, it's like, well, how do you think you, how do you, think you got to that solution? Of course. <laughs> because it's a puzzle. Uh, puzzle research, this is Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I see. A an assignment. In the field? No, no, sir. It's it's just, it's been, yes, quite some time. Uh-huh. Erasers? The foundation of democracy? Oh, absolutely, sir. I agree, sir. <laughs> oh, yes, the White House needs its erasers, sir. I'll be on the next plane to... Wait, where? Scoggins. Interesting. Indeed. How spoopy. I really like the art style. It's one of the reasons I, picked, I. It's one of the reasons I picked these up. Uh, picked them up off uh, Humble, actually, for fairly cheap. Yep, to anybody who watches this, I am not endorsed by Humboldt, but I get a lot of my games from there really cheap. 
is actually one of the first games I bought from Humble, but like just a couple days ago. I think our dude's got it in a shunka. Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. Are we sure it's not a deer stalker? Could be a deer stalker. Temperature. Mm, it's cold and not much to look at. According to the agency, so though I don't think deer stalkers come down that low. Thing going oh, on right. at the local eraser factory. The whole plant is shut down. There's a weird man staring at me. Yes, there is. Hopefully, this won't be a big waste of time. <clears throat> Agent Tether's out. Oh, I have no idea where my hotel is. I might have to ask for directions. So we could talk to the dude, but I get the feeling we could probably click around and find things. Oh, that's cool. If you click on somewhere. Oh, anyway. Excuse me. I'm Nelson Tethers with the FBI's Department of Puzzle Research. Hello? Yep. Okay, and you are? Bjorn. Bjorn? Bjorn. Bjorn. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Boy, those snowmobiles sure are a bumpy ride, eh? Yep. Can I ask him about stuff? Like the hotel, which is All right. Can you give me directions to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. Roads are too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. It can't be harder than the puzzles I see every day. Not so. It's really just a, a matter of trajection. Okay, on the way to the hotel, you're going to pass two traffic lights. Arrange the logs to help Nelson bump his way to the hotel. Make sure to pass the traffic lights Bjorn mentioned along the way. Interesting. The rules. Drag logs from the menu onto the game grid. A log can be dragged into any free space. Nelson's snowmobile will start off heading south. When it hits a log, it will bank right or left, depending on the log's orientation. Nelson must hit every stoplight on his way to the hotel. Press submit when you think the logs are arranged correctly. Oh, this seems like it'll be nice and easy. Oh, yeah. Seems fairly simple. Obviously, we need, to, we need him to get down here. Well, I mean, the easiest solution would be that, right? Makes sense, yeah. Because he comes down, bounces, 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 bounces. We're good. And also, you can come back here and it'll tell you all the information, like I said before. Alright, yeah, it looks like it should work for us. Yep, right, And then good. it uh, goes... Of course, this is early in the game, so of course the puzzles aren't exactly going to be hard. I think they get more difficult later, but... I love that taxpayer dollars spent. Yep, it's pretty funny. Counter. Top agent, that's right. This puzzle can be solved either by making an S or an N-shaped pattern with Nelson's tracks. Hey, how about that? Oh yeah, we could have also gone this way and bounced from there to the exit. Oh, oh god, I know what's going to happen here. Um, I must have gotten lost. I thought your directions were taking me to the hotel. They did. Uh, I'm standing in front of the hotel, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Welcome. I like this guy. <laughs> I like this guy a lot. I'm here to investigate an incident at the Scoggins Eraser Factory. Do you know anything about it? No. Talking to Sword Amy. The hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sticking around. Seen any suspicious people hanging around the hotel lately? Yeah. You. Yep. Really? Can you describe them? Skinny. Skinny. Asks lots of questions. Yep. There's a stupid hat. Thanks for the tip. Yep. <laughs> Called that. <laughs> yep. 
guy's almost as talkative as me. Just about. Ah. There's something to investigate here. Discovered a fence. Boards all chewed up something terrible. Could be the work of strays trying to get to the dumpsters back there. I don't know why I'm reporting this. I don't know if there's like fancy stuff you can find if you click around. But, you know, why not try, right? Makes sense. Oh god, those things are creepy. It reminds me of a puzzle. Oh, what's this? I don't know, but I can't look at it. Oh, well. Hello. Well, hello there, mister. Welcome to Valda's Inn. I'm Martha Garrett, but everyone calls me Ma. How can I help you? I'm Nelson Tethers. I have a reservation. Oh, yeah, you're here about the Eraser Factory, eh? We're awfully excited to have a real FBI man in our town. Most Just stereotypical like accent Ooh, ever. I'm gonna make some hot dish yep. for you later. A uh, hot dish? Oh, you'll love it. I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. Okay. Okay. Uh, what uh, room am I in? Yeah, okay, I've got your room right here. I mean, technically it is. Oh dear, this is so embarrassing. The night clerk wrote down your room number in code. Hmm. Mind if I have a look? I bet I can figure out what room. Why would he have done such a thing? Oh gee, this is such I a wonder. hard one to figure out, right? Yep. Cost the taxpayers seventy-five million to do to figure that out. Yep. Yay! There you go, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, did not mean to click there. Oh, well. Thanks. Actually, while I have you here, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions, real quick? I promise. Oh yeah, of course. How do I get to the factory from here? The FBI doesn't know where the factory is? Oh dear, our moose is cooked. Rest assured, ma'am, the FBI just likes to confirm intelligence with civilian knowledge of... Yeah. We like to double check things. <laughs> oh, of course. Well, <laughs> of course, of course. I have a tourist map of our little town of Scoggins right here. You know, our Scoggins Erasers is the plant that supplies the White House with all of its erasers. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins Eraser right now. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the Bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back were bizarre puzzles. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll happen. Okay. Do you know anything about the problem at the factory? Yeah, so tragic about the accident, huh? Accident? Oh, yeah, the foreman, Isaac Davner, they say he was killed in there. Is that so? Well, not to be gossipy, but I heard the accident was caused by raccoons. Raccoons? Yeah, little creatures that live in the woods around the factory. Maybe you should go talk to Sheriff Bog about it, though. You should be able to catch him out by the factory right now. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. The guy in the lobby, is he okay? Oh, that's Bo Murphy. He's always been a bit of an odd one. Yeah, he sits there all day trying to do his puzzles. He mostly keeps to himself, and I bring him some food from time to time. Sometimes I swear he'd starve to death if I didn't bring him something to eat. Huh. Well, we're obviously going to have to talk to him. Well, goodbye. Enjoy your stay. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have any gum for sale? Or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite some time. What? Haven't seen a stick in months anywhere in town. We tend to get shipments of things like that in the spring. So, no gum? Nope. Gum helps me concentrate. Pick up the ABC gum. That's the stuff right here. Yeah, that's pleasant. 
<laughs> Look, you can see him trying to fight it. He's like, no, I must. Nelson Tethers thinks best for is chewing gum. Any kind of gum. Find discarded gum, use it to get a hint during a sticky puzzle. So that's your hint system. You have to actually pay for them. With gum. Okay. Gum that's already been chewed. Well, these are interesting. Yeah, those are Scoggins gnomes. All the tourists love them. But I think one has gone missing. I swear, I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still have the film negative, though. Ah, we found ourselves another puzzle. Interesting. Of course, we're having to deal with the negatives. That is interesting. I forget with the film negative if the image is reversed as well. Is the image reversed as well as being reversed in color? I do not know. Well, we already know it has to be one of the red ones. Because there's three with red shirts and three with green shirts, but these are negatives, so the green would be red. There's only two red shirts here, so it has to be one of these three. That makes sense. I'm thinking that it is reversed um, visually as well, because this one here would be this one here. And so that would mean this one here is this one here. And we'd be looking for this one here. Well, that one stumped me. I love the name of the puzzle. The negative image is not only flipped, but the colors are inverted. Yep, so negatives are flipped. Well, one of your gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> What's this? Oh, this lets you see all the old pu all the puzzles you've done. Oh, you can actually go back and do them again. Oh, you're gonna make me do it again if I don't hit quit. There you go. That's cool. I guess that's so you can Very try and get cool. better scores on them. <laughs> Taxpayer cost three hundred and two thousand dollars so far. Alright, so we can talk to that dude. I did not mean to click on the door. The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Aside from one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. Plus, it looks like I'm primed for all the hot dish I can eat. It remains to be seen if that's a good thing. I got a map from the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Agent Tether is out. Am I supposed to be saying that? Oh, I can't go back in. What well, sucks? That stinks. Yeah. I wasn't even trying to click on the door, I was just... I want to go back to the end. Now let me go back in. There we go. Oh, look, more gum. That's pleasant. Anyway, Excuse now I can talk to the guy. You look perplexed. Puzzles. So many puzzles. Puzzles? I might be able to help you with that. Poe has swallowed a rubber band again. This x ray shows only tapeworms, or does it? Rotate segments of the pesky parasites to reveal the hidden object. Ah, I see. All right. Well, this is pleasant. There we go. There we 
go. Yeah, I can't really help with this one. Well, we found the rubber band right here. I'm just making sure that everything else is positioned properly. Yep. Yeah, it looks like it. Those innards are grateful. Solved. Now maybe you can relax a little. With the uh, whispers, if it's an acrostical enigma, maybe it's a Baltimore trans deletion. The whispers? Or not. Got any more pu puzzles? No new puzzles yet. Brain's always thinking, thinking about puzzles. I'll just check in on you later. So I'm, I'm, reminded not just... of, I'm reminded of Boyd the Milkman from Psychonauts. <laughs> oh, I've got to do that game, too. I've got that game on uh, Steam, actually, I think. Winner undeclared in local contest. I am the Milkman. My milk is delicious. I am the Milkman. My milk is delicious. Animal Grills Lee's arm wrestling tournament is over, and the judge missed it. Read the four statements and help him determine the winner. So the real thing we need to figure out here is who's flow. Once we, I mean, once we figure that out, that'll help us figure things out. We have to figure out who is who based on these things. Hmm. I used to always be really good at these kinds of puzzles. So the lady with the red hair is not flow, and neither is the lady with the... I think that's a bandana. No. The lady with the bandana is obviously not the winner, because she was outmatched by somebody. We know that whoever has the grizzly grip didn't win. Okay, so, the blonde hair and the bandana one, um, obviously are not winners. Right. Question is, who's Pearl and who's Flo? Okay. So here's my thought. Two people are not saying that one person saying they lost, one person saying someone else won, so saying they lost. The only person actively saying that they won is the one on the left. Well, she's saying she won against the Grizzly Grip. But. I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is Flo. Beat her, lost to her, and then she lost to her. That's my thought. Yes. Um, because Flo is. Because, because Pearl this can't is not be flow, so yeah, this person can't be Pearl because then no, maybe this could be Pearl and this could be this couldn't be Pearl because then this would be Pat. 
We know this person fought Pat, so this has to be Pat. If this, oh wait, no, if this is Flo, this would be Pat. Now, no, see, I've, I've gone and broken my, uh, my thing. Because if this was Flo, this would have to be Pat, who beat her. So that can't be it. So this must be Pat. But then that doesn't make sense. Okay, I've gone and confused myself. Hold on a second. Screw it. Who do you want to say? Who do we think? We thought it was this person first? I'm still thinking. Um... We're both being idiots about this, I'm sure. And when we see the little how at the end, we're going to go, oh, right, duh. So the two that said they were defeated, they can't right. possibly have won. So the Grizzly Grip was both a tactic that won and lost. Yep. I think the one that says Grizzly Grip couldn't whip me might have done it. Yeah, because my thought is, this could be Flo, and this could be Pearl, and this could be Pat, who beat her. Cause, yep. Yeah, so I'm thinking it's this person. We'll find out if we're being dumb. Oh no, we got it! We probably made that much harder than it needed to be. Four person tournaments, these are three matches. In the first two matches, two competitors were eliminated. In the final match, two winners faced off, and the winner of that was the champion. Flo, the wielder of the Grizzly Glip, won one match and lost another. That's only possible if she won her first match, proceeded to the final match, and lost. Yep, the woman who beat the Grizzly Grip is the winner. Of co- Duh! If you won one and lost one, you had to be- Then the person who won against you has to be the one who, uh- who won the tournament yep. because it's a two round tournament. That was way easier than we made it. <laughs> that was a tricky one. Only for when we're being dummies. However, it is getting about that time. I think it's time to call this episode here. I'm going to grab something to eat real quick and then uh, we'll come back for another one, hopefully. I'll see you guys around. See ya.